this swimming uh, pool. And it was actually the same teacher who uh, was taking action to build this monument. And at that time, in 1939, it was amazing. And it was built for those, remember those who died at sea and have the wet grave out there. And I do believe, in 19, because in 1934, it was nine men from this village regionists. They went over to Iceland to fish with a name, with a uh, ship named Neptune, came from Westman. And there were some 20 men on board. And at that time, you know, they didn't have any communication. It was, they went over to Iceland to fish, and then after two, three, four months, three months, they come back again. If they didn't come back again, they just say, suggest that, okay, they must have died at sea. They didn't come back again. And, uh, and that's why it said the year 934, and not exactly the date. They can get, it will be a heavy storm, that period and that period, and maybe they have gone down there. And uh, it say, Til minnes um sjólatnar men ur midgenes. Memories for those men that died at sea from the village midgenes. Harin gav, harin tau, glov er navn harans. Lord gave, Lord took, praise his name. And then the name and the age of the persons who died. And it was always men at that time at sea, never women. The women, they had the big job struggling at home. Uh, cow, sheep, children, food, niggling. <laughs> yeah. Not so easy for them. The last one who died from the village here was in 2002. First we got you through the Greenland. Went down with the guy or died. He was on board Gaia, the name of the ship. And he was over in Greenland. I know exactly what happened there. They, they took the troll off and actually he was going out with the troll and they didn't know if he had had some, I don't know, just fell over or something happened there, but he would never come back again. And then on the other, other place, on the north side here, this is another place. It was later on. Not from, from those who died at sea, it was actually for those who died when they were out field and uh, catching birds or taking care of sheep. Memories for those men from Indigenous who fall. When we say fall, we know exactly what we're talking about. You don't fall here. When you say they fall, we always mean they fall in the mountains. And they go back to 1757. Antonius Mort said, Til Fugla. He was catching birds. Til Fugla catching birds. Well, Johannes Johansson, five years old. That's the only child we know about. That was in 1900. When, we, when you come from the ferry and come up, and just before you go into the village there, it's steep down there, and it was no fence at that time. Um, he was together with the adult, and his hua flied off, and he ran for his hua and ran over. So that's why he is there. But uh, but all those uh, men, they do, they are buried in the the graveyard here in Mesnes. So somebody think, okay, why do they have here? Because they have a ground, a stone there. So yeah. But they have decided to have it as well. From here, when we are finished here, we have plenty.